on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Well, let's see if this works. GoPro, start recording. Huh. And it's working. Oh, there's Gizmo. Got a few packages you guys bought. You can drop them off at the post office. Give me an excuse for a little bit of a ride. Thanks, Jonathan and Roland's Barbershop. I parked this so close to the mini truck. I scraped it. Darn it. Don't want to scare the gizmo away. He don't care. So as far as the GoPro and Insta360 debate, you guys are pretty much divided. I personally think the GoPro gives a better video, better colors, much sharper, light balances way faster, and the audio. Personally, the GoPro is a winner. As long as I can keep using those secret words to get it to record, then I know it's going to be working. I did notice that there's a sound bar at the bottom of the GoPro. I never noticed before. Probably because I can't see it the way it's mounted. I thought about moving it up a little bit so I can watch the back of it, which I guess that's another option. But yeah, I'll stick with the GoPro if it works this way. Oh yeah, I might be getting a Fiero. Maybe two. We'll see how everything pans out. One's a four cylinder. The guy says that number four cylinder, the piston's at the top and it don't come down when you crank it around. So it must be a connecting rod or something. I mean, it could be the crank, but if it was the crank, if you put it in gear and you spun the engine, it would spin and not move everything. That one's a five speed. Yes, it's the Iron Duke four cylinder, which I thought they were pretty good because they put them into boats and everything, but apparently after researching a lot, they're not. You can't find block or anything for them anymore. It's like so hard to find anything and everything's expensive. If it's not all tore up, you can get a complete rebuild kit with a cam and pistons and everything for 560 bucks. But is it really worth rebuilding a four-cylinder? Probably better off putting a 2.8. Actually, oh, look at this. The guy's outside. How is he with bikes? Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. How is he with bikes? I know some dogs are like nuts with bikes. She might, if you went slow, she might try to follow you. Oh, yeah, yeah. But she's, her problem is she's, uh, she's got like, she's just, um, overexcited. Well, you just document your rides? With people and you talk to them. Well, Pretty much everything. I do everything. Like if I got, if I ended up with the car, I would do a whole series on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, whatever I do to it. You have a lot of people following you like that? 50,000. I mean, what's the difference between me riding my bike? Like, why would I want to? I, honestly, being honest, I'm just being honest. Why would I want to, like... About six, seven years ago, I ended up... I was... Listen, I'm just keeping on it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. A few moments later. All right, man. Yeah. I'll see you. got my I'll number. Check out your website. But, um... If you're interested in anything in here, make... Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to mess with the own. Yeah, I was thinking about what you said about the electrical and all that. It's really something stupid. Like, it's literally... Because I'm actually... I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah, he left the key, you said. And then I, when I went to start it, it still turned over after like four... It was four hours later, so when I noticed that, I was like, the shit, he left the key on. I turned it on, I heard a little pop. So it's got to be... Yeah, it's got to be a spark. Yeah. It's got to be spark. It's probably... My friend said it's got to be cool. But... Take it easy. <laughs> Pop, that's it. My friend is a little muffled. He's an engineer. He says it's probably the coil, but... 
Yeah, maybe we'll do something. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Hear the thunder going. It's funny because I was just going to tell you the story about that Fiero. <laughs> and then he was in his driveway. Kept them straps in there. You got to keep them straps. It came holding the bike down. Thanks again, guys. We came here for breakfast. And then my son and his friends came later on. He said there was a brawl out here in the parking lot. And I missed it. They were throwing hands and everything. He said there was a bigger guy, a bald guy. And a smaller guy, so it must have been a road rage thing. And the bigger guy laced him a few times, and the little guy ran. And then a the big bald guy jumped in his truck and took off. And like 30 seconds later, the little guy had three other people show up. Guys, I guess they were having breakfast. And my son's like, yeah, they're all tatted up and everything, but they were, you know, kind of small too. I said, I think that big ball guy would have cleaned their clocks too, all at once. So yeah, I missed all that excitement. Big Al's toy box is going out of business. Huh, I never noticed that. And actually he's not open today, so. But I heard they're having a, they're having a big clearance. Heard they're selling everything. Big Al passed away and the wife just wants to get rid of everything and retire. Another piece of our history over here. Kind of sucks. But it is what it is. I better get my butt home. Before I got rained on. So yeah, I was thinking about that Fiero. He's got, but that's an automatic too. GT. Are you saying he had a toad somewhere? Which... I guess you really shouldn't do with an automatic. It must have been flat towed. Unless you put on a dolly, the rear wheels on a dolly. I don't know, but the guy, whoever was helping him left the key on and he thinks it burned the coil up. I don't know. So I can't hear it run, so if I can't hear it run and move it around, I'm not going to pay a lot of money for it because I don't know really what's wrong with it. He might be watching this video. <laughs> but that's just, you know, the honest to God truth. You have any gray poop on? So I've been wanting a Fiero for a while. I honestly don't want another project, but if I could pick one up cheap enough, I'd probably do it because my son's interested. He wants to go in on it with me half. It'd be another learning experience for him. So I guess it wouldn't be a bad thing. So back to the first Fiero. We might have come up with a deal. So I might have that within the next few days possibly. If everything comes through. With this one over here. Thing's got like 200 and something thousand miles, so it definitely doesn't have the original motor and transmission, I don't think. He said someone else put another motor in it before he bought it, but he only put about 8,000 miles on it. And I know they're old, and I know they're not much of anything special. And you used to be able to pick them up real cheap, you know, five years ago, four years ago. I don't know, something just keeps me drawn back to them. I guess it's like a mini Corvette. And I love vets. And then you look at like a C4, you could pick those up for like a grand. <laughs> so is it worth putting that money into a Fiero? I don't know. I'm just silly like that sometimes. Got a few bites on the van. But got a few low ballers, so you know, never know what that'll turn into. Yeah, at least I got a little ride in. See what tomorrow brings. GoPro shut off. GoPro stop recording. There it is. Sight unseen. How's it going? How are you? 
And here it is, boys. Do a quick walk around. Yeah, that fender's got a little crash in it. And that's got someone backed up and caught that mirror or hit it. He's got a fender in there for the left side. This thing has 37,000 original miles. Some old lady owned it. <laughs> Crazy, huh? No rust at all. Where they normally rust. There's got some water in there from having it open. It's got a four cylinder. He says number four cylinder, the piston stuck up, which sounds kind of strange, doesn't it? So I don't know what to do about a, an engine yet. What do you think? And he's got the gas tank out of it, which I have in the garage. But it's a really, really clean car. I mean, look at the seats. 37,000 miles. Might be worth doing something with it. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.